Hello everyone. I've got a pretty good mess going here right now in the kitchen, so forgive me. Um, but I wanted to just go over the prep that I'm going to do uh, for our smoked shells. I I'm calling them smoked shells. On YouTube, a lot of times you'll, you'll find them called smoked shotgun shells. And actually, the video that I watched where I learned about these, that's what they called them. So a couple different names. Um, I'm, I'm going to basically follow uh, the recipe from Ash Kickin Barbecue. I'll put a, a link below, um, but I'm, I'm making a couple adjustments here, as you'll see. Uh, so first of all, we need to make the filling for these items. And we're going to start with one pound of pork sausage. This is Italian sausage. Um, you could use bratwurst, um, just generic pork sausage, breakfast sausage, whatever. Um, buy it in bulk at the meat counter like this, or you can get links and cut them apart, take the skin off, uh, whatever works for you. So again, that's one pound. This is six ounces of shredded cheese. Um, this is actually a mixture of sharp cheddar and like a Mexican blend. Um, any kind of a relatively simple flavored smooth melting cheese uh, is what you want um, you know like a an aged Swiss would not be appropriate here so pick something that'll melt easily like cheddar Colby um, a jack cheese uh, that'll, that'll bring you some creaminess some salt some fat but you know that the complex flavor won't get lost uh, with the other ingredients uh, the next thing uh, is barbecue seasoning and the recipe uh, the video that I watched just said to sprinkle in uh, any barbecue seasoning. So this is a homemade one that actually is based on a recipe from Alton Brown. It doesn't give it an amount, so we're just going to sprinkle in maybe a teaspoon or so. And then I'm going to add for freshness some chopped green onions, which I've got here. Um, so we're going to mix all that together in this bowl and then stuff them into manicotti shells, wrap those in bacon, and then smoke them. And we're actually going to do the, the smoking tomorrow, just doing the prep today. Um, the recipes I've seen say to use thin or normal style bacon uh, to wrap the shells because it'll help um, cook in the right amount of time and then the, the liquid from the bacon will render out and it'll soften up the shells. Yeah, you know, okay, maybe that works. I'm, I'm a little skeptical of, for the sake of experimentation, we're gonna do this two ways. We've got half of my shells, um, this is just a one pound package of manicotti shells from the store. Half of them, I'm going to use dry like the recipes say. Half I have soaked in hot tap water for a half hour first. So stuff these, wrap them in bacon, and then we'll smoke them tomorrow. And then I've got a little little garnish, <laughs> the, the green tops from the onions that we'll put on when it's finished. So I'll mix this up now, and then we'll check in quick before we put this in the shells. I've got all of my ingredients mixed together, as you can see here. Um, I just used my hands. I put gloves on, and I sort of kneaded it like bread dough, kind of folding it over on itself um, for maybe about one minute. Um, if you try to use like a, a, a wooden spoon or a spatula, you're just going to kind of be frustrated. So I recommend using your hands. Um, and don't go too long, because you don't want to warm it up too much. Uh, get the fat to melt. It'll just be a mess. So I've got about 10 minutes left for these shells to soak. So I'm gonna put this in the fridge in the meantime to keep it cool, and then we will start filling our shells and rolling them in the bacon. Okay, I have my shells stuffed here. Uh, the top ones are the completely dry ones. The bottom ones uh, were soaked in hot water for 30 minutes, and I can tell you a couple things. The ones that were soaked were a little bit easier to stuff. Um, it was like the inside was a little bit softer, so the sausage kind of slid in better. Uh, however, they also tended to crack, and I don't know which ones, but there are two of these that tried to like split lengthwise as I was stuffing them due to the pressure of the sausage kind of being pressed in there. Um, I don't think it's a problem. You know, they stayed together pretty well anyway, and we're going to wrap them in bacon, but I just wanted to point out that there was a bit of a difference. So um, we have one shell left over. Uh, so this used 13 of our 14 shells, so pretty good amount of filling uh, to shell. Uh, now I guess it's time to wrap these in bacon, and then we'll put them in the fridge for the night. Okay, we are done with our prep and uh, ready to refrigerate these overnight. Uh, here are the shells that are bacon wrapped, um, and they were not soaked. And then here are the ones that were soaked. And you can see, if you watch my videos, you know this, I like to mark things with um, toothpicks. All the ones that have toothpicks 
were soaked shells. So I've got these separated and plastic wrapped and we'll put them in the fridge overnight and then we'll smoke them tomorrow evening and see how they taste. Okay, tomorrow came a little bit more quickly than expected. We decided to change our plans and cook our shotgun shells tonight. Our shells, our stuffed shells. Um, they've been in the fridge for a few hours now since I wrapped them. Um, again, the ones with the toothpicks were soaked. The ones without were not. It's just raw, hard shells. We've got our smoker set to 300, and on top we've got a probe set to two, or 145, which will be our signal that we need to season and uh, put sauce on these for the ones that are getting a sauce. Uh, so I'm going to put these on the smoker, put the thermometer in, and we'll get cooking. Okay, we got the smoker loaded up. We have the probe in one of our shells, and we will let it do its thing. Should take uh, 45 minutes to an hour, hopefully. Well, we're already at 145, and the rolls are not even close to done, the shells. Um, I was just out there, I opened them up, um, and even though the sausage temperature inside is getting close to 165, the bacon on the outside is not at all done yet. It's not even close, really. So uh, I can expect this to take maybe another... Oh, 20, 25 minutes, uh, and I know we're going to overshoot the temperature on the sausage, but um, that's not a surprise from the videos that I've seen, and you know they say it turns out okay. So uh, we'll wait until this gets to about 165, and then we'll go put on some uh, some sauces, and then finish, uh, depending on how the bacon looks. We are at an internal temperature of almost 175. So let's check on the bacon here. Oh, it's looking better. But it's clearly not done. It's kind of a blonde color. So let's put this lid back on so we don't lose too much heat. And we're going to have to keep going until that bacon's looking a little bit more cooked. These are at 195 internal. So that's that's pretty pretty well overcooked. So uh, the bacon looks okay. Um, I think it might rotate the top and cook for another 15 or so minutes. Uh, and then put the, uh, the sauces on. So we'll see how that goes. These have been cooking for about 100 minutes. Um, they're about 200 degrees inside. We've got some of them down in this end covered with uh, fermented hot honey. Some in the middle covered with uh, barbecue sauce. And then the four on the end here uh, have no coating at all. So we can see how we like them. All right, now it's time to take them off the smoker and give them a try. All right, it's time to try our shells. Well, the results are in, and here's what we thought. Um, as far as the difference between uh, soaked and unsoaked, the difference was small. It was subtle difference, but we actually found that the ends get a little bit dried out and crispy on all of them, and the soaked shells took that a little bit better. Instead of turning out um, like dry and crispy and almost like a raw noodle on the end, it was sort of like a fully cooked noodle that had crisped up, so it wasn't like a, 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 like a non-tender, like really like a raw noodle bite. It was like tender but crispy. Again, really subtle difference. All of them were very acceptable texture-wise, no problem there. As far as the internal temperature of these going way over um, the 165 uh, set point, no problem. They were very juicy and delicious. No issue whatsoever. Um, and then as far as flavors go, again, we had the plain ones, we had the honey ones, and we had the barbecue sauce ones. I'm, I'm a fan of the plain ones. I don't like a lot of sweetness. Um, my wife uh, liked both the honey and the barbecue sauce. I didn't mind the honey ones. Again, this is home, ho homemade fermented hot honey. So um, I think the one thing we agreed on was we both liked the fermented hot honey so maybe, maybe that's our, our recommendation here if you want to try this. Anyway, that'll do it for today. This is an interesting experiment. I think there's room to improve this recipe, and I'll probably try it again. Uh, but this is a great start. They're tasty and fun and easy. Uh, so give it a try yourself, and thank you for watching.